What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today I am bringing you a game that I am so stoked about. This game is awesome. I am so glad that I took a chance and got it because I am falling in love with it. It is amazing. And I'm referring to Peco 2. Now Peco is a getaway driver arcade game and it is phenomenal. It's steeped in like this 70s aesthetic and it's got a banging soundtrack. It's got tons of upgrades whether it's weapons or vehicle upgrades or purchasing new vehicles um, it's got a perk deck that you can unlock perks and then you can either have a manual set of perks in a loadout or it can be randomized it is so much fun and we're gonna jump in right away and take a look here so you can make you can check your progress in uh, different areas here on the progress screen and just see how much money you've made, how many times you've been busted, how many times you've escaped, blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of a nice thing that you can look at. The perk deck here, as you unlock perks, you can actually change the order that the perks appear in. So no fall damage is a key one for me, and I love shock as well. Power nudge is amazing. I'm actually going to change up bulletproof here. Power bullets, bullets make more damage, and fast fire increases rate of fire. Uh, bomb squad and explosion kills nearby enemies when crew uh, has been picked up turbo replenishes much faster so I'm actually gonna get rid of um, I'm gonna switch power nudge for inner cooler yeah yeah we're gonna do it like that and I'm actually gonna move no fall damage down a little bit and I'm gonna take fast fire and move it up because I'm not usually taking jumps that cause too much damage for me you can do some gnarly jumps in this game that is just incredible but uh, for the most part that's not too much of an issue for me so here's the car shop really quick look at how many cars there are this whole lot at first I thought it was just like for visual appeal and I know I'm racing through it just because I'm trying to keep this video not too terribly long but there are a ton of cars and they all have their own uh, their own handling style their own weight um, they have different levels of uh, turbo armor and firepower that can be upgraded uh, so you've got to make concessions on what you choose and you can get the car of your liking and then take it to the garage and then you can sit there and you can change out your paint job pick the vehicle you want change out your paint job Let's go for this, uh, I like I like that one. And then I've got turbo maxed on my van, but it's only got two spots for turbo. Armor, um, I'm, I'm fairly well armored. Firepower, I've upgraded a little bit, and I am ready for a new weapon, but I don't think, you know what? I do have enough money, and we're buying the minigun. Yeah, we're gonna get the minigun right now. We got a minigun, it's on our van. We're ready to rock and roll. So uh, settings, actually I have Actually, I'm going to jump into settings really quick because this is really cool. You can really change the entire look of this game. You can turn on this VHF, uh, VHS effect, uh, chromatic aberration, turn that on, vignette so that you get the dark circle sort of around the outside, and all of a sudden this thing's looking like, you know, your, your granddad's VHS version of some 70s magnum pi type show it's it's really cool it's it's a lot of fun to mess around with these different things i like the cleaner aesthetic when i'm playing personally um but uh, that, that's just me you can really really go in and tweak a lot of things so bravo to the dev team for giving the options there and then uh, that's pretty much it we're going to jump in you've got these different levels that you can load into i have not unlocked anything except for the first one yet and i've actually been playing for uh, about two hours now and what i like about this is is this is a game that's got some longevity to it there's enough things to unlock in the game that you're always unlocking something but at the same time it's not going to be one of those games where it's like an hour later you've unlocked everything um i did one the other day a review for some sci-fi game and everything was unlocked in 30 minutes like that's it like there's no more carrot at the end of the stick for you there's no new content that's all, and so you better really love the gameplay because you're not unlocking anything else. And I'm happy to say the gameplay is strong enough here that it can stand on its own merit. All these unlocks are just lots of icing on that cake. So we're going to go with the van, the minigun. I don't have any mods unlocked yet. The perk, I'm going to go for my manual deck that I set up, and then the difficulty, uh, I'm just going to leave on normal. The game is... It's fairly difficult. Um, again, I'm in the first area, so it's, it's only going to get harder from here. And even with this, you can actually change the camera where you're panned out even further or come in a little closer to your van uh, for more in-your-face action. You cannot go first person in the van. So we've got your basic gas on the right, brake on the left, X is your uh, handbrake, and then A is a boost. So you pick up your guys, 
And we've already got the cops on us. And I have already messed up. Let's use the minigun. If you go close to the edge of... Oh, see, now look. Now, here's a jump. And I took a little damage. But even that, I didn't do too bad. And then as soon as you drop off one of these... Um, I'm going to use my minigun here. Clear some people out. As soon as you drop somebody off, you get a, a perk. So, that my first perk... Is it reloading? Okay, so the minigun fires in bursts. And I've got the shock ability turned on here. Grab these guys. And then take them to their destination. So think of it almost like a bad guy crazy taxi. Look at that minigun. Handbrake and zip. And they'll be crashing into each other. You can cause some pretty cool uh, cop car pileups while we're on the bridge there. I'm going to use the minigun to clear them out. And we dropped them off. And then you unlock the next uh, perk from your perk tree that you set up. Again, I'm set up on manual now. So this is Power Nudge. And Power Nudge is pretty cool because it lets me jump. Now, that was a bad... Oh, no! <laughs> My timing was terrible there. Don't jump your vehicle on a bridge. It's a bad idea. When you get done, you then get your total rewards, uh, XP. It all breaks down here. It lets you know what your multiplier was. And you can escape from the levels. So depending on how greedy you are uh, is how much you'll get. But if you wait too long, then you might not be able to escape from the level. Or you jump off a bridge <laughs> like I just did. And that's just no bueno. So uh, let's uh, let's do another run here. Oh, and this game is so addictive. Like, I, this is the classic... One more, just one more, just one more. I could do better. I want to just unlock this, just unlock that. So, we're headed to the Thirsty Camel. We've already got the cops on us. Handbrake, and let's zip up here. And when I get him in this little straightaway, that's the time to try to use my, um, my weapon. So now I've unlocked my first perk. I'm actually going to handbrake and head back this way. So the first uh, perk that I have on, I believe, is the Electro Shock. Yes, it's the Shock. So what the Shock does is, if they get close to my car, then uh, it, electricity jumps out and, and zaps them for some damage. Come on, buddy, get in. You cannot just race through. You have to wait for them to actually get into your vehicle. And, um, you know, sometimes they, they lose their head a little bit and they run around like a chicken with their head chopped off. Here we go. Jump. And we're almost there. And then I'm going to handbrake and do a sharp turn here. And minigun burst. Grab these guys. You see my shock kind of working there a little bit. And my health's at the top left, and as well as my turbo meter. Now that, let me see if I can. It is kind of easy to get stuck on the geometry in this game, and and it adds for some tension. I'm kind of sucking right now because I was actually trying to take out this this armored car. I was going to see if I could show you guys. Boom, and you get a big cash bonus. So unfortunately, though, I've used up all of my. Uh, all my health. So let me see if I can actually escape from the level. Probably not, especially if I keep driving like this. I've got three health left. Let's race through town. Let my boost meter... Oh, and I ran into a car. And everything does damage in this game. So, you know, you can't just bumper car through traffic and everything else, which is fine. That's good. It raises tension. So we got two jobs done, and um, it's a little harder to to talk and record at the same time. So I actually have done some runs where I've gotten like four um, four heists done and escaped. And you get a pretty awesome uh, reward for, for escaping uh, if you complete heists and then escape. All right. So let's get turned around here. <laughs> That's awesome. It's it, This game really captures the whole like over-the-top car chase. Um, so well. It, it really, even though it's a top-down view like this, the action is phenomenal. They do a really good job. Alright, so that's one done. So let's go for three this time. I think we can do it. <laughs> I 
no sooner said and I'm <laughs> off the edge of a cliff. So now that we've got the mechanics down, let's uh, let's see if we can have a, a better run here. So we got our first crew right here. We've already got a straggler there. No worries. And the cops are already on us. And they're flying off a cliff, it looked like. And I think I turn right up here. Yep. There it is. Oh, it's getting messy already. If the cops are really close to you, when um, you drop off a crew, they will actually blow up. Okay. We've got a pretty close hideout here, so we're just going to race right over to it. And then I saw another crew right up here, actually. Oh, man. One of the challenges in this game is trying to um, pay attention to driving, shooting. Oh, <laughs> I just accidentally picked up picked up a whole crew. I didn't even realize they were right there. Can I fit through here? I sure can. We're headed out to the rock quarry. Kind of weave a little bit. Keep the keep the cops on their on their toes. All right, we're doing pretty good. Not bad. I'm actually going to head back into town to grab another crew. It's centrally lo it's excuse me, centrally located. And a lot of times, oh yes, we we lucked out. See now, we're gonna go right here and drop these guys off, and then I'm gonna try to make a tight turn. Got the tight turn. Grab the last crew. We're going for the secret cave, and then we're gonna get out of here. We're actually doing pretty good, but I've only got six health left, and we've got the cops on us. The the police. We're done for. Dag nabbit. One of the perks in this game is a rocket launcher that will automatically fire at helicopters. But we pulled four grand from that run, five time multiplier, we pulled a pretty decent amount of experience, and I'm gonna go back to stage select here. So for stage two though, you actually need 5,000 XP. So you better get good <laughs> if you wanna be unlocking the later stages. And again, I am okay with that. I am I'm thrilled with that. So let's go back here. And one of the only kind of bugs I found in this game is it's if you go into like the level select or whatever, it, you can't get back out. You're going to start a new mission. So you saw like I clicked back there and instead of taking you out to the main menu or whatever, um, it's going to it's just going to drop you right into the next the next mission. Not the end of the world, not a deal breaker. I'd like it if the devs fix that where if like if I try to back out, do we have two crews right here? Huh. I wonder if I get points for both crews. Right now, let's just focus on getting these guys dropped off. And then we got a little bit of a speed bonus. And we've got... I'm going to cut through here. Hopefully get the cops stuck on some of the geometry themselves. There we go. Get off me, copper. And we're headed to the secret cave. Let's try to lose some of these guys. And boost. And we actually caused a little wreck there. I've got my shock power hard at work for me there. Let's pull a U-turn. We've got Power Nudge. That's so cool. So we can actually jump to get out of that pileup. And we can also jump to get over, like, vehicles. And then into the lamppost. <laughs> so we're headed to the truck stop. And we are going to launch ourselves up <laughs> into another lamppost. Okay, I need to stop jumping. It's bad for my health. <laughs> I landed it though. We've only got seven health. And that's the other thing in this game that I actually really enjoy. Um, you'll end up 
you know, knowing you're never going to escape from the from the mission, from the level. And so you just start having fun. You just start trying to do ridiculous things. Can you get so close to the edge of, um, you know, the, the ravine that the cops all go flying off? Uh, can you do a jump and land a backflip? Stuff like that. It's just... It's just so much fun. They have done such a great job of crafting a game that plays well. The controls for the vehicles, you're going to feel like you're fighting them a little bit. And at first I was like, man, I wish they had sharpened up the controls a little bit. You know, like it didn't feel so floaty. Well, and then I thought about it some more. And the whole point of a game like this is, is to be challenging. If there's no challenge at all, then you're really probably not having much fun. Am I going to land this? Woo! Barely. So if you're um, if you're playing a game and it's just like an on rails racer where it's just you know every little turn is, is super precise and everything, then you would lose a lot of the charm of this game. Uh, the fact that you are flying through you know the town and you're like, oh man, am I going to be able to you know get through without bumping anything? That's that's the challenge. That's the fun. And you do get better. I mean, you will get better and better at this game uh, to the point where you'll kind of know each individual vehicle's nuances and be able to use them to do some pretty awesome turns and things. Um, <laughs> concentrating so hard. <laughs> but, uh, so, bottom line is, what I originally was like, oh man, I don't like this, it has grown on me, and I, I kind of understand the, the purpose and the, and the point behind it now, and I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not upset about it anymore. I'm going to try to escape. I'm not even going to be greedy. Here we go. Oh, but we're going for the armored truck. I've got 30 health. Jump. This is so much fun. Oh. <laughs> Jump. Oh, no. I jumped too late. I'm not taking any damage, actually. I'm noticing. Did I... Am I glitched right now? I might be glitched. I'm not glitched. <laughs> I just took some damage. Definitely not glitched. Definitely taking damage. Alright. Minigun time. Well, here we go then. We're going to do one more. I've got a lot of health left. Oh, that's too easy. You'll get these sometimes, though. And, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you're like, sweet. Jump it. Lost him. Fast fire. That's awesome. We did it. We escaped. Six grand. It's almost six grand. 14,000 in the bank. We're up to 1,400. Uh, well, we're almost at 1,400 experience. Guys, this is the game. It is so much fun. You know me on this channel. I kind of lean more towards indie titles. AAA gaming has gotten just so, oh, just bogged down these days with so much crap. And indie titles are, like, for me, they're still the representation of what gaming is supposed to be. There are fun games that you can play and you can enjoy without being hounded incessantly uh, for giving money, season pass, DLC, microtransaction, gag me. I love these kinds of games where you get the whole game right here. It's phenomenal. It's got lots of replay value. It's got longevity. It's fun. Tons of unlockables that you can use in-game currency <laughs> to purchase. This game is awesome. It's not, I mean, it's doing okay on the Steam store. I almost passed it over. I'm, I'm one of those that's, I'm guilty of the whole judging a book by the cover, and there's so much stuff that comes out on Steam every single day that it's so easy to get pulled into the, like, eh, that looks kind of boring. Oh, another little, you know, top-down car racing game, whatever. And I almost missed this, and I would have been really sad if I did, because this is one that I feel so good about purchasing. It's $7.99 right now on the Steam store. It's $8, and it's got that initial Steam release sale going, so it's like 10% off or whatever. So I think November 23rd it'll go up to its full price, but, oh, it is so worth it for, um, for $8. Absolutely worth it. Look at how many weapons there are. Like... There is quite a few weapons in this game. I just looped right there. Mods? Eh, there's not as many mods, but still, you've got bullet time where you can slow down time, shockwave, mines, front fire weapon, 
I think for me, the next purchase is probably going to be the submachine gun because I think it's going to reload a little faster. The minigun's awesome and it tears through people like crazy. Uh, one thing I would have liked to have seen is possibly for the weapons a breakdown on how much damage they do. You know, maybe their stats. How often does it fire? What kind of damage does it do? St basic stuff like that. I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. It's another 20-minute review. I'm so sorry. I always try to keep it shorter, but I just can't do it. These games are awesome, and they deserve to be talked about, and you deserve to know about them before you buy them. And I hope that this review helped you in some way, or at the very least, you got some enjoyment out of watching some good gameplay. Uh, if you have any comments that you want to leave in the section below, please do. I'm always open to feedback, games you'd like to see, positive criticism that you've got for the channel, and whatever else. And I look forward very much to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Thanks so much, guys, and game on, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>